obviously a big fundraising time for us. We have a big uh, flag day on Saturday, but the, the week preceding the um, Remembrance Sunday, we have a stand in Waitrose and the Rohays and have a stand here just to get people into the swing of it before the, um, before the flag day. And we do very, very well. People in Guernsey are amazingly generous. I mean, this morning, I mean, people just come up and say, you know, I have, I have an enamel poppy I bought last year and just last year and just stick twenty pound in the in in, in, the, in yeah. the pot. You know, it's, uh, I mean, we 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 get about over fifty thousand pound a year for Guernsey. Sometimes it's, it's been it's been nearly seventy thousand. That's so, a huge amount of money, yeah. but where does it go? Well, we are allowed to keep as much as we want in Guernsey for Guernsey ex-servicemen and their families. And we do use a lot. I mean, in the last three years, the welfare team have dealt with over 60 cases. And we also, they've also recently set up a, a psychology um, support service. Um, and, and that's obviously got a cost implication. And but as I say, we are allowed to keep as much as we want in, in, in Guernsey. It goes over the UK. But even even if we don't keep enough, they will still immediately um, back us up if we need any money. So, and we also have uh, rehab centres in the UK where Guernsey servicemen and the families use Royal Hospital Chelsea. We have a Guernsey man in there. So, so we. Uh, so although some money, some money does stay in the UK, it's it's used for Guernsey people. I mean, do you think people appreciate then the, the breadth of the work that the Royal British Legion does? <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know whether people know how much, but the, certainly the welfare system is a very, very supportive and, and a lot of people, I think, probably uh, are very grateful for having them here. So I think a lot of people do know how much. Um, they, I mean, it's a small team. It's a team of five, but um, they're, they're constantly employed. I mean, a lot of it is just um, what they're doing now is, is mainly signposting to, you know, just giving people advice. Yeah. But um, a lot of it is, is financial assistance and, um, and of course, psychological support. You know. And what's your personal involvement then? Because you've been involved with the Royal British Legion for mm. possibly as long as I can remember, dare I say. Yeah, since, yeah. so I, I, I came back from Oman in 87 and joined the Legion then. Um, but I was also a reserve in the, in, in the Army, so I served until 2002. But still part of the Legion and... and I think it was 2003. I was the parade commander, so I did the parades and things. And then later, I was the, I was the, I was the president of the legion. So, yeah, I've been involved for a few years. Remembrance Sunday is always very well supported in Guernsey. Obviously, there's always people that turn out for the parade and just really to pay their respects. But it's not just about paying remembrance to the fallen soldiers, is it? As you said, it's about supporting those who are still alive and need that psychological, financial, and physical help we we we, we all the, the the welfare team also set up um, a monthly breakfast for any ex-service within the families and when the welfare the head of welfare said we'll see how it goes for the first couple of months mm. once a month see how it goes and then there's a good chance it'll peter out well it's been going for three years and and this this week we had the, we had the first of the month breakfast and there was 70 people there so and, and and that's really, I mean the Rockets Hotel really really look after us, and it's a, and and uh, Stan Breward uh, subsidise anything that's if we get too many people in they pay for it so so we get a lot a lot of support and it's a real buzz to see seventy ex servicemen from the families together yeah oh, the crack's great. <laughs> So you're smiling there. So it's not all about the solemnity, is it, of remembrance? Oh, it's no. it's that kind of com camaraderie, I guess. Well, you definitely you definitely need that. I think that's what the lads miss miss the underlasses, of course, these days. That's what they miss most when they come out of the service. They've some of them have done twenty odd years, and they've always had a group around them. Yeah. And then they come back and they'll um, work in, um, in in a, in, a, in a place where they are possibly a little bit different. 
<laughs> and don't, don't, always, don't always fit in, but um, they do, um, I mean they did bring a lot of teamwork to, to outside um, establishments, but there is also the lonely element of not having your mates around you.